Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool hover interaction. Now I did make a tutorial on this back before Wix Studio even existed in the precursor Editor X. But now that Editor X is gone and we have Wix Studio, I wanted to recreate this tutorial here in Wix Studio because I think even though it looks simple, it's very effective and easy to set up. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump right in. In a video a long time ago, before we had Wix Studio, I showed you guys how to create this effect in Editor X. But now that Editor X no longer exists, neither does that video on the channel, but I still think that this effect is really simple, but really cool. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build this simple little kind of hover animation effect. A couple things I wanna note is when we are not hovering, on any of the items here. You can see that all of the items are like fully opaque. They're in their dark state, right? But as soon as I hover over it, the one I'm currently hovered on has the text. However, the other ones, if you look to the ones to the right, this one and this one, you can see as I hover on those, those get lighter, right? So that's kind of the effect that we're gonna be building today. So back here in Wix Studio, what I want to do is just go ahead and add my perfect section. Now, if you aren't aware of what this is, I have a full video dedicated about this. So feel free to check it out in the description below. But in reality, all this is, is basically a section that already has all of my preferred design settings already applied to it. So I can skip all of the section setup and get right to designing. That's kind of the perk of this kind of empty section here. But what I want to do here is I want to set our background color to this blue, but I don't know if I really want it to be like that blue. So what I'm gonna do is like choose like this kind of color here. It's kind of like a bluish gray, which I think looks pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and use that. Then in here, what I want to do is actually split this into three different columns, right? So what we're gonna do is grab this drop down and split it into three different columns. Fantastic. I don't know if you can see the grid lines here on the YouTube, with YouTube's compression, but they are there. And what I want to do is go ahead and add a container and we're going to stretch it to the container grid. Great. And for the background of this container, we're just going to set this to zero. Now, what I want to do now is go ahead and set up our section here. And if we go back and take a look at the example website, we're gonna have three different elements. One, we're gonna have the dark state of our little icon here. Then when we hover over it, we're gonna need some text. But then if you look to the items to the right, this one and this one, as I'm hovering on this one, you'll see we'll kind of need like a lighter icon as well. Now here in Wix Studio, we are gonna be using SVGs, which are basically, if you come over to the decorative section in the add panel, it's basically your basic shapes. Now, if I just add a basic shape here, unfortunately, under animation and effects, if I add hover or even create custom animations, for some reason, we can't change the color of our basic shapes in these animation and effects boxes. So what we're basically going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of create a duplicate version. We'll have to change the color of it. Right. And we're going to want to basically hide it right in a way. And then when we do a hover animation, we want to kind of show it. So I'm going to kind of show you how to set that up. But for now, let's go ahead and just build the design of what we're going to be building. So for some reason, we're going to be using these in today's video. They're kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just center this. And what I want to do is, you know, now we have this one here, which looks pretty good. I want to go ahead and duplicate this one and I want to change the color. So we're going to choose something maybe a little bit darker than the background. And we're just going to go ahead and center this just like that. I think that looks pretty good. And what I want to do is just arrange and send this one to the back because I want the black one to be visible. Okay. And then the last thing we need, of course, is the little text element. So I think this one was called death God. So we'll just call it what the file is called. Um, and we'll just go ahead and change the text to white. Uh, let's see what this text font looks like. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn on advanced settings for this text element. I'm going to set it to 100%, center it, and then I'm going to go under the alignment under the design settings and center it there. And so this is going to kind of be our 
design here for our boxes. So what I want to do now is set up a hover interaction with this box here. So I'm gonna come over to animation and effects. Actually, before I do that, what we first need to do is we need to come over here to Death God, the text. We need to come all the way down to the bottom and under opacity, we wanna set this to zero because by default, we don't want the text to show. We only want the text to show when we hover over it, right? So now if we head on over to animation effects, go to hover, add, what we want to do is add a custom animation. So we'll say create custom animation. We'll just grab this text element and under the adjust area here, you can see the opacity is set to zero because we set it up to be like that. And all we're gonna do is set this now to 100%. And we're gonna press done. Now I do like to rename my animations, especially if we're gonna be potentially adding more animations to this container. We wanna make sure we name it so we're clear on what we're doing. So I'm gonna rename this as show text on hover. Okay, perfect. So now if I go ahead and preview, you can see when I hover over this box, the text appears, okay. Perfect, so now this part is done. Now what I want to do is go ahead and duplicate this box. And under the design settings, uh, we can unstretch it, move it over to this box over here and restretch it. Then let's duplicate it again, stretch it and move this one all the way here to the left box and stretch it there. So now we have three versions. Let's go ahead and change out the content really quickly. So over here, we'll change the shape. We'll choose the archer for this one. Uh, but keep in mind that we have two pieces of art. So one for the black and one for the kind of darkish gray blue. So under the layers panel, we'll go ahead and grab the background one. We'll change the shape to the archer and it should keep its color, which it did. And then we'll call this one the archer. Okay. And then last but not least over here, let's change this shape to the noble lady. So we'll go ahead and grab the basic shape behind it change it to noble lady and we'll grab the text and we'll say this to noble lady. Okay. So now when we go ahead and preview the website and we hover over each one of these, you can see that the text is showing. Again, if we take a look back at our example, when we hover over one of them, look how it's affecting the other ones, right? So what we want to do is for the other ones to kind of lose its darker color, right? So here in Wix Studio, if we want to do that, what we want to do is grab this container, come over to animation and effects, and we want to add another hover interaction. However, in this case, what we want to do is actually affect another thing on the canvas. So I'm gonna activate, click on canvas. We're gonna choose this one right here. We'll say custom, create custom, and we'll set this to zero opacity. Okay, and with that, we're gonna rename this one to hide a black image. And then we're gonna do that same exact thing. So we're gonna grab this container over here. We'll press add new animation. We don't wanna do it to itself. We wanna choose on canvas. We'll grab the noble lady, custom, create custom animation, and we'll set the opacity to zero. Press done, and we'll rename this one to hide black image. Okay. So now if I go ahead and preview the website, as soon as I hover over Archer, you can see how it's hiding that black image on this one and this one, right? But now we need to go to this one right here to the middle one. And now we need to hide the black image for Archer and Noble Lady. So with this container selected, we're going to add a brand new hover interaction. We're going to choose on canvas and we're going to choose this archer image here where we'll, we'll click custom create new and what we're going to do is set the opacity to zero we'll press done we'll rename the animation to hide black image then we're going to come over here to death god one more time add another hover interaction choose on canvas and we're going to choose this one right here however we've already set up this animation before for noble lady. So all we need to do is click on hide black image. 
And last but not least, let's go ahead and do that for Noble Lady as well. Again, it should be very easy because we've already set it up now for Archer and Death God. So what we're gonna do is do add new hover interaction, not on itself, but something else on the canvas. We'll choose the black Archer image, custom, do hide black image, perfect. And just like that, we're done with that. So now we'll add another animation to this container. Of course, we don't wanna add it to itself, we just want it to be the trigger. So then we're going to grab the black death god image and we'll do custom and say hide black image. And just like that, we have created this effect here inside of Wix Studio. Now, of course, it's not as nice as, you know, this website has it out to be. But here in Wix Studio, I did show you kind of the concept behind creating this effect for yourself. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.